It's good, you too. It's Lamont Zanotti. <laughs> yeah. Drop that intro. And I'm back. 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 <laughs> Drop that intro again. to my new fucking intro shout out to uh uh my brother fucking jeremy out there in fucking houston doing this fucking thing shout out chris out there man shout out all my family out there man but here i bought i actually got a video for you guys i want to give you guys a bit of a backstory of who i am as lamont snowdy uh yeah like it was back in uh because oh, i was in the military today I, well, I'm gonna start it off back in uh, since 2011. Right? <laughs> I don't know what to say. Uh, but yeah, I'm still camera shop. I need to get over this fucking camera shit. Uh, but yeah, I'm sweating and shit. Like, I'm nervous and like I've got the jitteries and shit. You know what I need to start doing to get over this is to uh, what I should start doing is just picking up the camera, and just keeping it with me all fucking day. That's what I should be doing. But anyway. Since 2011, uh, I ultimately came to the sound conclusion that I won't ever have to worry about a college education. Because that was the big thing in back, you know, when I was 21 years old. Today I'm 32. I dropped out of college in 2011. And it was a big deal, right? And the conclusion, the, the, the ultimate conclusion, how I came to that realization that I should do that, like I consciously made the decision to do that. Uh, the the book that actually changed my entire uh, way of viewing education, right, of viewing the world, like it, it literally changed me, was uh, Robert Greene's mastery book. I mean, and I've read all of the rest of his books and they was, ah, they was okay, right? They wasn't as practical. They didn't impact me to my immediate life like that one book did. So. I read the book and then I dropped out of college. <laughs> and I was in the military at the time, right? I went to the military at the age of uh, 19. So uh, I was 21 when I came across the book and I dropped out at the age of 21 in um, 2011. So yeah, at the time I was in the military and I sacrificed, I left the military. I honorably got, obviously I got an honorable discharge right from the fucking Marines. Nigga, I'm a motherfucking Marine, bitch. <laughs> Run up on me the wrong way. I mean, fucking military minded, oh, fuck you mean. But uh, yeah though, so I went, I sacrificed my military career, did my required four years, and then I left, right? All because of this one book. And the, the, the one thing that got me uh, so intrigued by this book was the concept of the 10,000 hours of mastery. That was the main thing. And I damn near forced myself to engage in 10,000 hours of studying one subject. And that was the markets. So yeah. And ultimately, I, I kind of knew what, like it's like, it's almost like I knew what I should have been doing. Like that was the answer I was looking for before I even joined the Marines, before I even graduated from high school, before I, you know, it was always somehow in the background, like this is the answer to what has, and it's true. But that was what, to, what is 2022 now? That's like 11 years ago. Shout out since, you know, since 2011, man. That's why I'm gonna name this fucking video. Cause that, and that was actually the same year in which uh, I kind of knew I should take the continent route. Even then, like I kind of knew. And so I got my honorable discharge out of the military. And then I left and ultimately went homeless because of this one idea. And I don't know if you guys know by now, I, 
kind of take all of my ideas and I stretch it out and I maximize and I, you know, t take one idea and I utilize it to its full potential all throughout my life. Every entrepreneur should. Uh, but yeah, I did that and ultimately I went homeless. I didn't, I, you know, and, and it took for me to hit rock bottom in order for me to, uh, to realize what that idea really represented, right? And uh, yeah, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of background on who I am and ultimately with my channel just naturally flourishing and organically growing, uh, I just want to throw that, I'm just setting seeds, right? I'm just planting seeds since 2011, man. It was a very valuable year, you know? That was the year I kind of, uh, I came to the sound conclusion that there won't be an institution that can educate me as much as I can educate myself. And that's why I have my own personal library. I read, uh, like, uh, religiously. <laughs> I read on a religious type of scale, right? And all CEOs do. I don't think anybody sh that's in modern day society shouldn't be reading at least one hour per day, right? One hour is minimum. It should be four hours on a bad day. So, I don't know. Just a little bit of my background. I won't make any of my videos as long as they were in the past because I realized that uh, no one really has time to just watch all these fucking, you know, minutes. But me, <laughs> you know, because I'm always learning. I'm always looking for ideas. I'm always um, scavenging, right, for, 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 for fresh, for refreshed fucking uh, concepts, right? But um, anyway, yeah, shout out fucking my, my channel, man. Shout out Lamont Sonoti. I should have come up with a fucking outro and shit, but, you know, I'm still clean. I'm still out here doing my motherfucking thing. Ultimately, like I said, man, I might be just grabbing my camera and just taking it with me all throughout my day and just just organically growing my fucking channel, bro. This is not a fucking no fap channel. This is not a fucking, uh, you know, sperm retention or any of that shit. It's just me naturally showing myself and who I am as far as Lamont Snowdy goes. That's not my real name. It's a pseudonym. I hate to fucking bust your bubble and shit. But um, look out for more of that type of part of me over time, right? It, you know, and of course, I'm still drop my fucking 100 day marks, my 200 days. Are only hundreds, only fucking hundreds, bro. Because, you know, what, what, what you're finally seeing what, and what you're seeing with these 100 marks, 100 day marks is me seeing the other side of the tunnel. Like, I, I've been through the whole relapsing part and the whole fucking giving up and, and, and I hate that life is going to be lonely and shit. I've been through that part. And now you're seeing the breakthrough when it comes to these 100 day marks. So yeah, just look out for that, man. Shout out to motherfuckers at Lamont Snowy, Nikki. Fuck you mean, Nikki. <laughs>